Okay. All right, and what is your name? Marlon Bryant. Okay, what, what is going on today? Um, the band has, we're about to march out for a little mini rally to let students know what is really going on with the band. We're having a lot of problems with our head band director, Curtis L. Willis. And basically, we've taken it to the administration, all of our grievances, problems, and everything else. We've taken it to administration. They don't want to do anything about it. So now we're going to let the student body know exactly what's going on. And we're going to petition to get this man out of this position because we've given him two years to do something with himself. He has done nothing but bring down our band. So that's basically what's going on. What, what are the accusations and grievances that the band has with the man? <clears throat> basically, a lot of us have problems with um, scholarships. He shows favoritism. Um, we're not treated fairly on trips, as everybody can see. Um, homecoming shows. We've been booed in different places. We've been invited to places like Canada, the inauguration parade for President Clinton. We don't know what happened there. Um, the name of the band is just going down with each semester, and it's time that we do something about it. We've tried in the past, nothing was done, so it's, we're taking it out to everyone. Okay, who, who is the coordinator of the, of the uh, uh, protest? Myself and Stacy Dunson, that is my associate, um, with help from Gertrude Green and Kano Phillips. Okay. Uh, what do you hope to prove by the protest? We hope to, well, our basic hope is to get that he will get out of office. If not, um, if he doesn't get removed, then um, we don't know for sure whether or not there's going to be a ban next semester because a lot of the band members right now are saying that they will not return to the band as long as this man is here. If so, we hope that he'll get a lot of attention and the pressure will be on him, you know, that he'll change his ways and that people will begin to get what they want, basically. Uh, can you tell me your names? My name is James Pogue, Eric Harris. And are you part of the band? You... No, we're former members of the Grandma State University Marching Band. Former drum majors. Former drum majors. Why is it that you're former? Because uh, when we were in the band, uh, we were treated very unfairly. We were drum majors. We carried a lot of positions, everything from uh, section leaders to drill sergeants. We trained a lot of freshmen. And in the same season that we trained those freshmen, they, were, uh, they had scholarship sizes larger than ours. It wasn't a reflection on our abilities or anything, but it was because we didn't, quote, play along the game with everybody else. We didn't dab in the politics like um, the other leaders did. And so therefore, we weren't rewarded for our services. We made up a lot of the dance steps. We trained a lot of the leaders. Some of the, uh, some of the best things about the performances, we and other student leaders were responsible for it, but uh, we weren't rewarded for it financially as far as service awards or whatever is concerned, are concerned. Politics such as? Well, politics such as, uh, um, say for instance, if uh, um, rules don't apply to everybody, like if you're late, then you lose your spot on the field and or but if you're good and good with the band directors, then you don't lose your spot on the field. Politics such as uh, if you're good at, with the band director, you don't have to come to band practice. Or politics as if you're good and good with the band directors, if you miss rehearsals, whatever, then you still get to go on the trips. Or politics such as uh, if you're in good with the band directors, even if you can't play that well, you still make $1,800 $1, a semester. And if you're not in good with the band director, then you make 500 regardless if you're one of the best players on campus or whatever. So how do you feel about the uh, protest going on now? Personally, I feel that it's time that this is taking place, primarily because we've been through all the necessary steps that are supposed to be taking place in order for us to get this resolved through the university. The um, last year, when we were, while we were drum majors, we went and spoke with Mr. Lee, who is Mr. Willis' immediate supervisor, as well as Dr. Jennings and other deans on campus in order to get this situation re resolved. Mr. Which, Lee is the vice president of student affairs. And um, when we went to speak to him, or those individuals went to speak to him, by the time, it, within the time it took for them to walk from his office back to Mr. Willis' office, the phone call had been made and their names were given even though they had spoke to Mr. Lee in confidence. Okay, in addition to that, now that this, this has brought come to this fore, this, this, uh, this level of, of attainment or whatever you want to call it, now the administration wants to form a committee in which there are none of the people that actually have a voice of the band on the committee. And the committee has no true power because the committee reports to James Lee and it's already been proven that James Lee supports Mr. Willis, so there's no purpose in having a committee. Um, also, some of the bad things that happened to the band are like um, during this past um, Heritage Bowl. Um, the Heritage Bowl was unexpected as far as whether Gremlin would play in it or not. And many students had already made travel arrangements. And those band students who didn't attend the Heritage Bowl, they had their service awards stripped.
So I'm hearing that you've been to the president, the uh, pr uh, president, president of student, of student affairs. affairs, and but nothing is being done. Exactly. Even those individuals that went and spoke to the president, they gave a list of their names as well as their grievances, and none of those individuals were placed on the committee. I think that's very uh, a distinctive characteristic of what's going on. Those individuals that are taking the leadership role as far as the band is concerned and speaking for the band aren't the individuals that the administration is looking for or placing on these committees that are supposed to resolve the problem. And therefore, it's, it's illogical and irrelevant and irresponsible uh, for us as band members to continue going through the same route if it's not working. In other words, everything's being swept under the rug. So the, I, the only way now to, to uh, get everything out in the open is by protesting and doing Exactly. Good. Many of the students don't even know what's going on. As long as there's a band march and they're happy. They don't realize that at times the band has been gone has gone down to numbers less than 90. And Mr. Willis, uh, the band director, has had to go outside of the band finding former band members, anyone that could carry a horn to go to parades, so on and so forth, in order to make the band look good. And this, this is not what Gramlin's band is supposed to be. You're supposed to be in it for the pride, the love, and, and the love of the university, the love of music, and so on and so forth. Not just because we need somebody. You know, you, you're in the band, you love the band, you respect the band, you work for the band. And that's not the way it's been and that's not the way it's going to continue to go if Mr. Willis continues as band director. And also people don't realize that um, the things that we have, uh, grievances that we have are things like we've gone on trips like um, say a year ago or spring ago to a Mardi Gras parade. We marched a seven mile parade and then after the parade we ate chicken off the back of the truck that has set up for 48 hours. People don't realize that um, we've gone on trips and people have had injuries and no concern was expressed whatsoever even about taking them to the hospital. One band director volunteered on his own to take those people to the hospital. Cool, cool. You have to be willing to make sacrifices. You got to be willing to do more than just talk. If you look around, you see some of the people who are in this committee meeting, some of the people, if Mr. Willis gets kicked out, are going to reap the benefits. They're sitting around. You got to stay in here and you got to hang in this thing no matter what it takes. Don't do a whole lot. Don't do a whole lot of talk if you're not willing to back it up. All right? You know what I'm saying? Bow your heads. Dear Lord, we just ask you to look down on us. It's about a pat in the past of this band. It's because of you, Lord. We realize this, and we give you the credit, and we ask you to guide us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, can we can we have like a roar on the sidelines like a yeah.
I need an E. Who wants to switch with me, bro? Can we have some seriousness, please? Sound off. Richard, you and uh, Kirk and Dolph want to hold still back there? Keep fall back to the next row. Man. One man, listen. Hey. One, two, three. Fall back. Director Vans at Grambling State. Okay, what, what, what is happening, Mr. Willis? What, what, what is happening? Well, it's very difficult to say. I know that uh, we having some difficulty maybe with some students, but I think it's it's uh, due to the backing of one of the instructors, at least one or two of the instructors. And uh, the stru instructors and I disagree, and we happen to disagree. And so they have these students that they're putting together there to protest against me. So. Those things happen. It's just one of those things, you know. When people uh, disagree, I just hate that you would use students to do this type thing. I think we ought to be men or women enough to come over and uh, talk the differences out and work with it. So I would never use students to 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 to, to do anything that I would uh, would would think to try to get my my uh, 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 well to, to to explain my problem or my frustration. So I think they're using students to, 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 to work with their frustrations against me. So it's just one of those things. Okay, well, it's been said that the problems have uh, derived from you with, with dealing with uh, leadership or scholarship and, and things like that. It, and you're saying that it's because of another director? Well, I don't, I don't think the problems actually derive from me. Now, there may be some problems. Just like anything, there would be a few problems, I'm sure. But it's nothing that we can't sit down and work out if given the opportunity. And no one has given uh, me the opportunity to talk to these problems or answer the problems. We have a committee now in force, and the committee is working with these problems and supposed to make a report to, to Mr. Lee and Dr. Lundy about the problem. So... Uh, if given the chance, it would really be nothing to work on. Everybody would get it worked out.
This is yeah. yeah. what? That's what Buck on the road. You want to run over? Yeah, because I want to run over. Two, 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 two! As you work, as you work! 
Crowd Shot. Yeah.